Coy Bowl self-taught his signature sound in a small room near the attic of his parents' Thomaston home. He joined a band by age 13 and nearly 30 years later, the lifelong devotion to the strings landed him a spot doing what he loves with his Zach Brown band. He met the group's namesake, Zach, at West Georgia College. We're really, really good friends. I mean, I talk, when we're off the road, we talk to each other on a regular basis and write tunes with each other and go out to eat and, you know, and stay in touch. Our kids play with each other and, and all that. But before the tours, Grammy nominations, and wins, Bowles started out like most musicians, playing in back rooms and bars, looking for that big break. For me personally, I just kind of would like look over and see, you know, somebody kind of goofing off on stage or whatever, and I was like, this isn't a place you goof off, man. This is like holy ground right here. This is where you like let it all pour out. After college in 2007, Bowles officially became a part of the band. Zach offered him a full-time spot after a gig they played in Auburn, Alabama. Fast forward a few years and the boys were taking the Grammy stage to claim the trophy for Best New Artist of the Year. And I remember just like going completely flush, man. You know, just like my toes feeling like they were like, you know, had nine bolt batteries hooked to them or something. And then all of a sudden we're on stage, man. And I'm like looking down and we're all, you know, all the boys are up there and we're like looking down and there's like Beyonce and Jay-Z and like, you know, all these other guys, all these iconic, you know, musicians and everything. And you're just like, what are we doing? And then everything just kind of like fades. He says he would never have made it to the stage without the influences and inspiration of Central Georgia legends like Otis Redding and the Allman Brothers. Being so close to Macon, Georgia and being from Thomaston, Georgia, it's, um, I mean, that was like kind of sacred land over there, man, you know, especially during that time period when, when all that was happening. You just go and eat at the same restaurants, the H&H &H, you know, restaurant over there, and, you know, just kind of try to like be as close to where all that stuff was happening as we could, you know. It is not just Coy's music jumping off the charts. Fans may see less of him because the soon-to-be 40-year-old is on a journey to better health before the next tour. I really wake up every day and I'm like super grateful for the life I live and try to give back as much as I can and take care of myself and all of that good stuff, you know, and just kind of do one of these, you know. So, but it's feeling good, you know. Feeling good, looking good, and playing even better. Marvin James, 13 WMAZ News.